Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living and thanks for watching my videos. Welcome to my new subscribers. All right, let's talk about CVS today. Yeah, not Rite Aid, CVS. <laughs> and <laughs> why, 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 why did I even try? <laughs> that's, that's the question. And um, yeah, Tide. This was all about this stupid Tide and me getting some more Tide in my life, as if I needed any. I didn't. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> Darn it, I was just, I was I was determined I was going to buy some Tide this week, you know. I probably should have saved my coupons until the last week in October, and I probably will get a better deal that week <laughs> with my dollar off coupon. So, uh, yeah, all about the Tide. Now, I ask myself, I'm, a, I'm calling this transaction a fail. <laughs> Two transactions here. Here's what I got, okay. <laughs> This whole trip was a fail. And the reason I'm going to call it a fail is because I ask myself, if I have walked in the CVS with five coupons and for Tide, a dollar off a of Tide, thinking I'm just going to go buy five Tide and get my $10 extra buck from the Procter & Gamble deal, which, by the way, if you haven't heard, you can do two times this week instead of just one like the ad says, uh, yeah, let me show you the receipt there. See how it says I reached my limit, $60? Um, if I had just walked in there and bought the Tide straight out with the coupons, no extra bucks involved, it would have cost me $24.70 minus $5 in coupons. Now, I had a $3.79 extra buck. And then I ended up with a 50 cent extra buck that came out of the red box um, for my summer savings. And you can see I don't spend a lot at CVS because my summer savings was only 50 cents. Well, yeah, it would have what? It would have been like less than 20 bucks for these four tie or five tied <laughs> out of pocket, and then I would have got 10 dollars back. Okay, so. I took a chance and decided to buy some Pantene, hoping <laughs> that the um, full amount coupon six ninety nine would for this BOGO coupon would happen. Now she scanned it and then she noticed and she marked them down to four dollars a piece. Okay, whatever. I did that. Now why did I throw in all this other stuff? Um, because I also got a ten dollar. Um, off of fifty dollar purchase coupon came out of the red box, so I started looking for some other stuff. I I'd kind of been thinking about doing the Dove deal. Yeah, I heard that the coupon was scanning at six dollars. Which the funny thing is, she let that scan for six dollars on that. So essentially, I only paid for one of those. That one she adjusted. Okay, the soft soap, I threw in two of these. These are two for seven, and I used two of the 50 cent off coupons out of the Smart Source from Sunday, and then you get $4 back. So it's essentially like a dollar a piece on those, which I think is kind of high for body wash. But I wanted to get up to $50 and buy things that was giving me some um, cash back or extra bucks back. Those added up to $48. I needed two more dollars to get to 50, so I threw in two of these beef jerkies because I haven't had any beef jerky in a while. It's going to be on, uh, Jack Links will be on um, a good deal soon at, C at uh, not CVS, Rite Aid. I'm going to get me some Jack Links later this month. Okay, anyhow, so that was that transaction over there. Um, here, this, here it is. You can see the $10 coupon first. And there's the $6 for the Dove, the $0.50 cents and the $3.79. Well, it wasn't even three ninety seven. I think I said three ninety seven earlier. Anyways, ten dollars seventy one cents out of pocket. Okay, <laughs> now um, that's a lot. I did get back the ten dollar and the four dollar. I still needed uh, what six dollars to go towards the um, Dove deal. I was going to buy the men's body wash, but I didn't because they didn't have any on the shelf. It would have cost. Well, I don't know if it would have cost a little bit less. Yeah. Anyways, whatever. Because they, she let those. Well, they let the coupons run at six dollars a piece on those. <coughs> oh yeah, my other fail in not fo <coughs> following coupons 
and this clearly says use four per transaction. I bought five. I didn't even realize until I handed in the coupons. I don't know. I was just focused on getting five tied for some reason, and this was like stupid couponing. Um, <laughs> I should have bought four of these and a couple of the Pantene in one deal, and then bought split it up. However, um, yeah, I used um, two of these dollar off twos on those. So I guess I would have bought like three tied and four Pantene, and then two tied and four Pantene, and got there. Well, anyways, um, yeah. The second transaction. Let me show you this. Right there. Okay, thirteen dollars and seventy cents out of pocket. And I got my ten dollar and my five dollar. Now, how much did I pay out of pocket total? Twenty four dollars and forty one cents. And like I said, if I had walked in there and just bought the tide alone with my three dollar and seventy nine cent extra buck, I would have paid like under nineteen dollars out of pocket. You can see where this is uh, wrong <laughs> in my mind. I, I don't do crap like this. And, um, well, I guess I did. Here it is. Um, and, yeah, all told, if you actually divide up the twenty four forty one that I spent out of pocket, that's not including tax, by the uh, 23 items I have here, including the beef turkey, <laughs> it makes it a dollar and six cents a piece. You know, to the average person, that might not seem like a lot, and that's really not a lot for this tide, is it? <laughs> right? But that's a lot for shampoo <laughs> and body wash. Okay? And um, in my mind, it, it, this was a, a ridiculous purchase right here. I should have just bought the tide, but like I said, I didn't know what they would do with those coupons on the Pantina. I took my chance on that. So um, the Dove came out to be a really excellent deal, actually, because. I mean, if you think about it, you know what? My $24 when I divided up, I did not subtract out this $15. This $15 goes on the next transaction. It doesn't go on this transaction. So, you know, I still paid $24.41 out of pocket. And that's what's significant in my own mind. Um, you know, and that's, what, that's the point I'm trying to get across. You know, how much are you paying out of pocket? Because that's how much you paid for this stuff, okay? It doesn't matter how many extra bucks you get back, how many up rewards or register rewards or whatever you get back. It's how much did you pay physically out of pocket, and you're always trying to get that down to zero. And um, that that's my point here. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say, I guess. My time's almost up, and, uh, yeah, I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye.